13 weather forecast. Well, our midsummer feel continues as we progress into this first weekend of June across the area. This is all thanks to a ridge of high pressure that has now become established directly overhead. And through the weekend, we're tracking more of that hot weather. Luckily, that humidity won't will start to not become as much of a factor. And yes, we still have just an isolated chance of a few showers and storms. So let's break this down for you. Like I said, with that ridge in place, for the most part, we are looking at quiet conditions. Mostly sunny skies in those temperatures. Yes, staying much on the warmer side of normal tomorrow. We are going to reach up to a high of 92 degrees, still right around that 90 degree mark as we head into Sunday. And like I said, we are going to start to see that moisture decrease a little bit more. So therefore, you won't notice that humidity as much. I do think still going to be a factor tomorrow, but not so much as we head into your Sunday. Otherwise, radar is pretty busy here this afternoon. We've seen more of the showers and storms developing as a result of that daytime heating. So let's take a quick radar tour and show you kind of what's going on here. And in fact, we're seeing quite a cluster of showers and storms across our northeastern counties, uh, spanning from Russ down into Taylor through Clark County as well. And the other thing you'll notice with the movement of these, they're not really going anywhere. They're just kind of staying in place. And that's because we have weak winds uh, both aloft and at the surface. So there's really no movement with these. I suppose that would actually be good news because we could use some soaking rainfalls with how dry it is out there. And we're seeing more scattered showers and storms across the western half of the area. Even a cell uh, just west of the Eau Claire area at this moment starting to retrograde rest or westward in the Rock Creek. We're seeing some of that activity down towards Pleasant Valley. And I do expect this for at least the next few hours, but going into this evening with the loss of that daytime heating, these storms will start to die down across the area. Here's a live look at our Nicolay Bank Chippewa Falls Skycam. You can see the dark ominous cloud cover with those showers and storms in the vicinity. We're at 80 degrees out there right now, but check out their dew point. There is a lot of moisture in the air uh, near that 70 degree mark, and that pressure is just over 30 inches of mercury. Now, throughout the day, we've seen temperatures steadily rising through the 80s. In fact, just an hour or two ago, there were a lot of folks into the upper 80s and around 90. But with those showers and storms around, obviously, it has started to cool off. A lot of folks ranging from the mid and upper 70s into the low 80s at this hour. And like I said, dew points all across the area, you are certainly noticing that humidity in the air. Most of us into the 60s, but check out Baldwin, they're a dew point of 71 degrees right now. Looking across the region, there's quite a few showers and storms that are developing, but not really any surface features. And that combined with very weak winds aloft is why we're not seeing any severe weather. That's certainly some good news there. And as we head through tonight, like I said, these will start to simmer down with a mostly clear sky through the overnight hours. Otherwise, for your Saturday, expect mostly sunny skies. There is the off chance of a stray shower or storm going into the afternoon hours. But I think many folks are going to wind up on the dry side of things. And then for tomorrow night, mainly clear. And we are going to see beautiful weather heading into your Sunday. Lots of sunshine in and all of the day is expected to stay dry. So for tonight, we'll see a low temperature at 62 degrees. Otherwise, tomorrow, 92, low 90s on Sunday. And then going into the first full week of June, we actually start to cool things off. 86 on Monday, <laughs> and then heading back near average into the upper 70s by Wednesday. Yeah, when 78 and 80 are, are cooler. <laughs> uh, that's going to feel real nice, I'll admit. For early June. All yes. right. Thanks so much, mm -hmm. Derek.